hi guys welcome to my channel and today on this video i'll be showing you how to make french beans at home also known as mishiri start by frying your chopped onions and once the onions are translucent go ahead and add crushed garlic and ginger then give it a good stir and allow the garlic and the onion to cook at this point you can add your spices accordingly depending on your preferences and i just added two beef cubes at this point i went ahead and crushed that and then give it a good stir And at this point now the onions were fully cooked so I went ahead and added one chopped tomato. You can adjust this depending on the amount of green beans that you're going to be cooking. Then I added tomato paste. Give that a good stir just ensuring that everything comes together nicely. And for the tomatoes to cook I added salt and I also added a small amount of water and then covered the pan just to allow the tomatoes to cook fully before moving on to the next step. And at this point the tomatoes were ready, the ones that had not cooked fully I just went ahead and mashed with my spatula. And now go ahead and add your green beans, you can see how I have cut mine and I mixed them with carrots just like this. Guys like there's no specific way to cut your green, green beans, if you like them big or small just cut as you prefer. Remember these are just home cooked meals and there's no standard as to how they should be. So just go ahead, mix everything together, keep checking for salt and adjust the seasoning accordingly. And I cooked the green beans and the carrots on low flame. Remember not to hurry the, the green beans and the veggies so that they can cook and just so that they do not burn when cooking. Just keep stirring and guys for those who like their veggies crunchy at this point now the green beans will be ready but I just went ahead and added green peas they were already cooked and that was just like a half cup. You can add whatever veggies you like you can add capsicum if you prefer you can add coriander at this point. So I went ahead and added just a few drops of soy sauce you do not have to it's completely optional. And whenever you add soy sauce to your food, just keep checking the seasoning accordingly. Remember soy sauce is very salty and your food could turn out to be overly salted if you do not check accordingly. I went ahead and added some seasoning, I mean some salt, and then just give that a good stir ensuring that everything comes together nicely. And you're just going to cover it for just a few minutes, less than five minutes. And after that, we are going to move on to the next step. And guys, the French beans were ready. Took me less than 20 minutes to prepare and that's the result. 